All right, first off, I do want to put a disclaimer. Hopefully, I don't say his last name incorrectly, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Now, today's video is on Tosan Evibamwan, and could he be the last man on the roster? Now, the Detroit Pistons do have one open roster spot. Could they give Tosan a two-way contract to fill out this roster, or could they go elsewhere? I definitely seen a lot coming out of Summer League out of Tosan. And he was an undrafted rookie free agent. And I actually like him. Like, I didn't know a whole lot. I mean, I know he was a Princeton standout during March Madness and this, that, the other. But I didn't I don't watch Princeton basketball. I'm sorry, I don't. So I don't, I didn't know a lot about him, but when I seen him during uh, summer league, I was like, oh my gosh, like he doesn't wow you, but what he does bring you is some solid basketball. Like if he's on the, you know, if he's playing on the Detroit Pistons in a regular season game, he's going to make sure that he at least gives you rebounds. He's going to make sure that he dishes out the basketball to get the shooters the basketball. Now, he did have some shooting issues during Summer League. And, you know, but he only played in, what, two or three games? I'm not going to I'm not gonna go hard on him. But what I did see in that short frame is, hey, give him a shot. I would. I would give him a two-way contract. Hey, here's a tryout two-way contract you come into training camp you prove yourself if you are good enough to actually make the main roster okay cool if not hey you go down to the motor city cruise the g league affiliate team of ours and you develop and you know maybe a couple years down the road if we need an open spot hey we know who to call first so for me, I <laughs> I really like Tosan every bum one because he, I mean, like I said, I mean he did shoot a hundred percent from threes, but he only shot one time. So, but he was a career I want to say it was a career thirty two point four ish percent from down range. He did struggle a little bit in the mid range game during summer league, but. Overall, I mean, he did have that, what was it, a 26-point game? So, I mean, he can score. Is that his main focus? No. Will he get better? Yeah, I could teach somebody how to shoot the basketball. You know, but what I look at him is his length, his arm length. He has a nice little wingspan. I mean, he could defend, you know, uh, quite a few positions. You know, if you want to put him on a three, a four, or a five, I mean, I would. You know, bang down low on, on some second units. Maybe, you know, hey, maybe he's the human victory cigar, a.k.a. the Darko Milicic row. You know, yeah, I know, I know, fans, hey, we don't like talking Darko. I know that. Hey, I still have nightmares. But, you know, maybe he's in that role for the short term, which is the now term. So, I mean, you could do so many different ways with Tosan. I definitely would at least kick the tires on it. I mean, Monty Williams and the coaching staff kind of know a little bit more onto him because they got first hands on him since he was undrafted in this past draft last month. So I, I definitely would kick the tires, but let me know your thoughts. I definitely want to know what you think in the comment section below. Because, hey, it's not about what I tell you. It's about what you tell me. So I get to learn from you guys just as much, just as, much as I get to learn from y'all. If you got some value, give this a thumbs up. Y'all already know what to do. Let's do all that fun YouTube stuff. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video. Go Pistons. Yes, sir. Peace. Hey, I would definitely kick the tires on Tosan. Every bomb one. Hopefully I said his name correctly though.